healing laughter, you know. And you can take a grave subject matter, like teen pregnancy, you know, and, and sort of make it a form for, for giggles. And it is healing, and uh, he's done it with unemployment. Um, and it's, it's, you know, it's true. I think we're, we're at a point, I know, in certainly my country and the world where we're so um, depressed. And uh, and we we do and it's amazing we do have a platform within this profession to have a you know for it to be a megaphone for social change you know to like just splat something the reality of things up on there and have and look at uh, take a real look at us as our, ourselves and giggle you know I think that there there you know I, it, maybe you know hopefully it'll it'll um, there'll be more and more but it's hopeful it's always hopeful. I I first met him on Thank You for Smoking. He considered me for a couple of the roles, and we met several times. Um, I mean, he was pretty indecisive about it, and ultimately <laughs> decided against against it. Um, but then uh, I got a call uh, for this, and I read the script, and we met up. And you know, he's so sharp. I mean, he could prattle on about every single film I've ever done, the most obscure roles. And um, you know, and he basically told me, "Listen, I, I need I need a gal." Uh, that can give George Clooney a <laughs> run for his money. It's, it's really in the script. It's the writing. The writing is so sharp. The tete-a-tete -tete is in the words. They're weapons, you know, and that's what makes it. It's in the, in the vein of all the old, Holly, old school or old-fashioned Hollywood romances, you know, the way, the, you know, the, word, you know, the, the banter of that Catherine Hepburn got to have, you know, where it's just as sharp and witty and, and, and um, the one-upmanship, you know, uh, and that's, what, that's really the, yeah, I mean, the writing was so spectacular that, I, you know, George didn't only have the great, the great things to say.